Hello, Leo. It's my lady from Ladies Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of March 15th through the 15th through the 22nd, 2021. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my with the Fountain Tarot by Jonathan Sates. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing. Ooh, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, it told me to read these, so I will. All right, so we got the present card here. So I do feel like somebody got some things coming to them. Some kind of gift, possibly some kind of value, okay? Oh, goodness. All right, so I do feel like somebody's sending someone a gift. I do feel like it was a sudden separation. I feel like the separation came from a third party. I do feel like with this crane bag, somebody is going to hold this forever. I'm not getting rid of this. I cannot get over this, okay? So even if this person comes back, I won't forgive you for leaving for somebody else. I don't care if you buy me a yacht and give me a million dollars, okay? I will never forgive you or forget this, okay? That's the energy that I'm feeling from this. Let's keep going. All right. What's going on with the Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Yeah. Unexpected separation. Okay. Somebody is not too happy about that, okay? I feel like I'm wanting you, wanting to be around you. I do feel like I'm being ignored, um, or I feel like somebody just up and left, okay? They gone. All right, so we got the sacrifice card reversed here. So I do feel like somebody is not real wanting to give this situation up. I don't want this to be over, Okay. All right, so we got the timeout card here. So I do feel like somebody did want this situation to be over at first. I do feel like they changed their mind, okay? But I do feel like somebody is too late changing their mind, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so we got the moon card here. So I do feel like somebody wanted to get out this situation. I do feel like somebody changed their mind about wanting to get out of this situation, but I do feel like it already got out to the other person. There is another reason like this. I do not know what the sign was, but yeah. So I do feel like it got out that, that you didn't want to be a part of this relationship anymore. Um, and it's like, I changed my mind. I, I do want to sort of be here, but I, I think this person left when they found that out. Okay. So it was like, they were sort of waiting for a reason. And you gave them that reason saying you don't know if you want to be there. Like, well, let me help you out. All right. Yeah. So you told that to an arrogant, very arrogant person who think they run the world. Like, oh, you don't want me here. I'm gone then. Okay. Like, even if you get close to, I don't like something that you're doing. I get out. I leave. Okay. That's who this person is. Mm-hmm. Looking for a reason. All right. So we got the siren card here. So I do feel like somebody got a lot of messages and stuff uh, coming to them. But I also feel like if you want something, ask for it. Just make sure you want it, okay? So if you do want this person to come back, just say it. Believe it. This person will be back, but this person has not changed, okay? So that cheater that they was before you put them out or they left, they're going to be that same cheater when they come back, okay? Whatever it is, cheater, alcoholic, whatever the case it was, it still is, okay? The case remains the same. All right, so we got the future fate card here. So I do feel like whatever you ask for, whatever you want, I do feel like it's going to lead to a more positive thing in life for you, okay? It's definitely a life lesson coming for you. So if you do call this person back, you're going to come back like, yep, yep, you should stay gone, okay? Or, yep, 
this is what I'm going to deal with for a little while. And if you stick around, you're just going to be learning lesson after lesson after lesson. And how many lessons do you need? Okay, that's what you got to ask yourself. Let's keep going. All right, so we got the lover's card here. Okay, so this card is about love. So I do feel like there's some love wrapped up in this somewhere. But I also feel like it's about choices. Okay, so you can choose what you want. Okay, but you can't choose what they act like. All right, so let's see what's going on with these. Jonathan states the Fountain Tarot. All right, what's going on with the Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so we got the King of Cups here. So I do feel like um, somebody's dealing with someone who's very charming. I do feel like this person is arrogant and cocky to a point. I do feel like this is definitely a new person. Okay? Mm-hmm. So that's that choices. All right, so the choices come after you walk away, okay, with this Eight of Cups, okay? So... You can choose to stay here and try to work on it or get your lessons. Um, or you can move forward to someone who is very, um, it's crazy. I feel like this person is spontaneous. This person is very outgoing. Um, I feel like something is missing with this person though. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm not going to say it. If you deal with this person, you know who they are. Let's keep going. All right. So we got the seven of swords here. So I do feel like somebody's walking away from a situation because it's too much sneaky stuff going on. Okay. I feel like, oh, we both drink and I fall asleep. Wake up this mofo gone. Nowhere to be found. Won't pick up the phone. You know, then I see him in a couple hours. Oh, I just went to the gas station. Well, why you smell like soap? Okay, so I do feel like that kind of energy here. Sneaky business all the time. Why you got an extra set of clothes in your trunk? Okay, that kind of stuff. All right, so we got the Knight of Swords here. So I do feel like a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing going on. And I do feel like this fighting and arguing was happening um, so that... This person can run away and go do what they wanted to do, okay? And it's bringing me back to this um, siren card, okay? This makes me feel like if you want this person to come back, this person will come back. But if you want a new person to come in, you got to be ready for this person. This person will come in. So definitely be careful what you want, what you wish for, because you just might get it, okay? But I do feel like at the end of the day, somebody just want love. And it's like, can this person that you're dealing with now give you that love? Especially if they haven't given it to you yet. Right? All right, let's see what's going on. This Eight of Cups here. All right, so we got the Page of Coins here. So I do feel like somebody's getting ready to... Um, I feel like somebody may be getting ready to spend a lot of money or lose a lot of money. But if you're moving or you're doing like any kind of, somebody may be downsizing or something. I do feel like somebody losing some money. Okay. Or somebody's getting ready to spend a lot of money. Oh, goodness. All right. So we got the 10 of coins here with the page of coins reversed. So it looks like somebody is spending money to get money, okay? Somebody may be losing one job, but I do feel like they're getting ready to get another job. But it's crazy because I feel like the next job, next situation may cost more work or just more time has to be in there. Um, but I do feel like the rewards are going to be bigger, okay? So this could be the same thing with a relationship. It's like if you spend more money on this, re I mean more time on this relationship, okay, it's going to be more valuable, Okay, the more you put in, the more you get out. All right, let's see what's going on with this Knight of Swords. One card, please, for the Leo. All right, so we got the Tower card reversed here. So 
Yeah, so I do feel like after all this arguing and fighting and all this craziness going on and walking away, I do feel like somebody's getting ready to be, rebuild they self, okay, and rebuild their life, okay? Somebody getting ready to start from ground zero. I do feel like this is going to be the biggest blow up ever, but definitely say what you want because you're going to manifest it, all right? Let's see what this is here. All right, so we got the six of cups. I mean, six of wands. Sorry, please don't beat me up, okay? Six of Wands here. So I do feel like no matter what happens, there's going to be success here. I was feeling that earlier in the reading. Um, so even if this situation don't work, if you let this person swing back around, I do feel like it's going to prepare you for what you really want that's coming soon after you get rid of this. Okay? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.